One of the things I'd like to talk about is uh, rebuilding the tips. And so I'm going to show you real briefly how we would take it, even on a boat, and we'd rebuild the tip. The first thing you do is it's good to have a pair of uh, vice grips. <clears throat> And you want to take and just grip the body of the of the tip itself, and you want to take and remove the cable. Now the cables will get eventually frayed. Uh, they have plenty of strength. They have great tensile strength. But occasionally, if they get frayed, you don't want to keep them around because you're likely to take and and cut yourself with the fraying. So as soon as I get a cable that gets frayed, maybe 20 or 30 uses it. Sometimes will fray. I just replace the cable. It's a real simple thing to do. There's an Allen plug that's in here, and once I release the Allen plug, I can take this uh, cable loose. Now, in a, every case, if I've had 30 or 40 fish that I've speared with this, there'll be uh, several things. First of all, the tip. Now, we damaged the tip purposely here, knocked the tip off of it. But at the same time, the little barb, the plastic barb, will get chewed up. <clears throat> so we want to take and remove that barb. I recommend just a good old box cutting knife and what you want to do is just take and lay it down in a position that you can cut it. And it usually takes a couple of passes. If you just take and bring it over, and then you can usually pry this part off. Now once you just take and take that off, now you can take and put this into a portable drill. I, I carry a portable drill on my boat, and you just uh, chuck it up in the end. <clears throat> And what I find that works really well is, is a good diamond file. They're very fast. And so I'm going to take and just turn this thing on, and I'm going to put it right down on the diamond file. And in a very short period of time, I'll have brought this tip right back to a sharpened tip. And so what that allows us to do is on the boat, I simply just take and sharpen this guy up bring the tip down as a, and it, if you have different uh, grips, so, so now I've sharpened this tip up. Now once I've sharpened the tip up, then I can take and put it back together again. And the first thing you want to do is you want to reassemble a new plastic part. And so the, the plastic part is going to go back in this direction. And what I usually do is I push them as far as I can by hand. <clears throat> usually gets a good start. And then you just want to find a, a sharp ledge. You can use the edge of your boat or anything else. And you want to simply take and put this down against that sharp edge. And then I recommend using a lead so that you don't damage your tip that you just pointed, but you could use hard wood. And if you simply just take and tap it, you will take and tap this guy back in place. There we go. Now once you've tapped this guy in place, you want to take and rotate it. It's, it's, uh, now you, you can rotate it so that the little catch right here lines up with the hole. And then you want to take and replace a new cable. And you want to take and put the cable in so that it goes and it's going to line up again with the little track device right here that captures it. And you want to turn this uh, barb so that the barb goes to the outside. So once you, and you want to pass the ball all the way through. You'll notice I'm passing the ball all the way through here. We're going to take and put it in that position, hold it in this position, and then simply retighten the screw. And you want this, we want this ball slightly exposed. So I'm going to release it and it just is exposed slightly. Like that. And tighten it up. And I always take and get a pair of lock bars and just give a little extra torque on it. And then your tip is rebuilt and you can take and bring this back down and put it in its place. And I actually take it sometimes the first time you have to seat it because uh, the plastic is pretty tight. So bring it down and seat it the first time. Push it down so that it looks just like this. So that your barb is to the outside. It's locked in the unit. Tip sharp. Has a new barb on it. That's the new cable.